Hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this time it is on the UCS Child that is, that is now being released, and you are probably wondering, how did I get this quite early, like, with the piece amount that they're, well, it's at the general store called Myers, of course, well, which may not be as big a deal as, like, Walmart or Target or, a, or the other two, well, just go right to it, because there is no, like, street date, nothing. But I'm sure the other stores will get it as well, but yeah. So on the front of the box here, you see the, the logos and the border, just like the Razor Crest set, and a picture of the child on the deck of the Razor Crest, and also minifig version, and the child again, and also the Mandalorian logo, Disney logo. And recommended ages is 10 and up, set number 75318, has 1,073 pieces. And flip to the back, you see it in another position, and the, all the dimensions, and the heights, and also all the different features of it, and yeah. And now to the booklet, of which is on the front of the booklet, of which same picture that's on the front of the box, everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey, all the pieces that come with the set. You add for all of the summer wave sets and the main thing list of all. And then add for the Skywalker Saga game that it actually is delayed until next year, obviously, and the last building steps. So, the first of which is the minifig version of the child, of course. And he, who is not much exciting, just the same as in the Razor Crest set that was put out a couple months ago, but this set of which around a lot less of that, so if you weren't able to get the Razor Crest, well, this is an alright opportunity to get him. Or unless if you want to bother with both. And yeah. And also you get, like any other UCS set, is the plaque stand, of course. Which and this kind of similar to that is from the DO one. And as for the plaque sticker of which, if you want to read it, pause the video. Then, uh, not much else to say, but just the same as Dio in some other ones. It's a horse. So now, on to the child himself, which built pretty goodly, which kind of similar to that of original UCS Yoda that was put out last year, of course. But, anyways. But, of course, without any beach, but without the feet shown. Even though, sometimes in the show, he does have feet shown. But, of course, unlike with other Yoda has some plates hidden underneath. And you can see some good has some snot techniques all around, especially with these kinds that are for the arms of course. Also kind of like the regular like the other Yoda one. But the hands are poseable and same kind of techniques as them. But of course, one of which does have the Nexo Knights uh, tri or pyramid piece, but in tan. Nice for mocking. So a, a lot of dark tan in, in this one. Use nice for mocking. And for the back of which, some of the same stuff. And of course, same exact hood technique 
as that. Which, if I like remove, you know, then you can see how well done it is. See, so just the regular Technic beams rather than the Technic girder type things that the other one did. As for the face, which kind of does well capture his look quite well. Like, obviously, has the bottom. Uh, rounded pieces acting for the eyes but with a slight print to it being the color in the eye obviously and of course unlike the other has a mouth that opens and closes obviously and also the head is on a ball joint so you can position it however you want and also the large ears are quite poseable like he usually does in the show. And well, a lot of good sand green to it, of course. As for the other arm, which is just put upwards, and of course, holding the little sphere that Mando gives to him, but that is part of a lever of the Razor Crest, of course, and has the blue stud to connect it to it. and. And of course, this piece, which we have, haven't seen in a bit, which is, of course, Sandy's treat or air dome piece, but in solid uh, uh, metallic silver, of course. So, good use of pieces there. Which, as for compared to last year's uh, regular Yoda set, and of course, Yoda, of which is of which kind of a bit larger than him since, of course, Yoda is much older, obviously. And of course, which has the sphere, and Yoda has the lightsaber, of course. And of course, all those features are kind of similar, like the heads and also, but the ears poseable, which the other doesn't. But of course, good technique used for the hood, obviously, which the other also did, which I give props to. But, and of course, as for it in the stand, to which, although what I think would have been nicer if also include the one-eyed frog that he goes after and or eats up obviously that would have been made it a little that would have made it worth it but you know probably didn't mention that it so much in the show but yeah and so now on to the final verdict is overall this I think pretty much great set or nice set I would do get something new in the first time of UCS Mandalorian set. Even though we might do some more in the future, but hey, but it's still kind of keeping the trend from like uh, Porg and Dio and BB-8 and all. But of course, this which would look nice to next to the other Mandalorian sets that they put out so far, and of course, Baby Yoda, which a must-have in many ways. And although the frog, I think they should have added, but I can forgive him. And yeah. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection, then definitely pick it up. And if you are wanting to get a Baby Yoda that isn't the Brickheads set, then also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.